Coach, for the first time in a while, you had a chance to maybe kind of enjoy a win with us having a big lead. Talk about that comfort level for a change. Well, you know, honestly, I like to say it was a comfort level, but I've seen us, um, you know, kind of let big leads fade away. So uh, throughout the game on Saturday, you know, we were talking about, you know, staying the course and uh, finishing. Uh, but it was fun to see our guys getting a lot of turnovers. Uh, scoring touchdowns, seeing us be able to run the ball. So uh, uh, that was good for us. I think it was good for our confidence being able to score that many points, and uh, it's just a good win for us. You've played a lot of football games. Can you ever recall one or two games where it rained the entire game? No, that was the first for me. You know, as a player, I've been a part of some games where, you know, it rained hard maybe the first quarter or second quarter and then stopped, or, you know, it wasn't raining the first half. But this game here, you know, going to the stadium, it was raining. Uh, it rained the entire game, and then it was raining after the game. So uh, it was a difference. Uh, you know, um, it, it definitely you know slowed the game down, slowed the track down. I mean, it was real soggy out there, but uh, uh, we knew we had to protect the ball in the weather like that, and our guys did a good job of doing that. Talk about the challenges of playing in those elements, and maybe just how impressive a performance it was what the team put on last week. Yeah, well, you know, that's the thing. It's, you know, both teams had to play in it, and uh, you knew that it would be a factor. Um, and we, we talked about it in pregame and talked about it uh, during the game, that, you know, you got to be that much more careful with the ball, watching it in if you're a receiver, making sure you're getting the snaps up if you're the center. And then on special teams, you know, thank God for a guy like Bobby that was able to catch the snaps and still get the punts off uh, you know, that was a challenge for them. Uh, they had some issues there um, with their punter, you know, bobbling the ball a couple of times. And uh, we were able to take advantage of that. But uh, Bobby did a good job of getting our punts and getting them all for us. We talk all the time about being able to affect the game in all three phases. Maybe for the first time we were able to do that uh, and also put points on the board beyond just Bobby with extra points and field goals. Talk about that kind of well-rounded performance you had for the first time. Yeah, that was uh, that was the most complete um, game from a, a standpoint of all three phases that I've been a part of as a coach uh, and a player. You know, you're talking about, you know, I think we got, you know, I don't know, 14 points or so off of uh, special teams. We got, you know, some points off of uh, defense. And, of course, the offense scored some points. So uh, it was a great opportunity for us and great experience. Obviously, with the elements, we ran the ball a lot. And we've run the ball. We've been on balance in terms of play calling a lot. But our yards per carry, overall yardage in the rushing game has gone up. Talk about that. Yeah, it was um, it was great. You know, we, we know that we have uh, really, you know, some solid running backs here with Crowell and um, some Mal uh, Malcolm Cyrus and then McKibben. So uh, we knew we had to run the ball. Going into that game, whether it was the weather, or not, we knew we, we wanted to run it. We wanted to, you know, give the ball to our running backs a little bit more. Um, with it being raining, uh, we decided to, to definitely uh, run the ball more. And, uh, you know, uh, guys ran the ball hard. We only threw it five times. So uh, it was almost like an old school Nebraska type game, but uh, we enjoyed it. And I know we talked about a lot in the running game, specifically catered toward Isaiah, talk about him finally breaking off the big run that right. I think everyone had been anticipating. Yeah, you know, um, we saw the flashes of that uh, in, in our training camp here where, you know, he made a couple of cuts and then, he, you know, he was off to the races. So uh, it was great to see that. I think he's been waiting to have a run like that. Uh, we do know he's an explosive, powerful back. Uh, he ran the ball hard, ran it well for us, and uh, made plays in the running game. And uh, that's what we expect of him. I think it gives our offensive line guys more confidence knowing, okay, we got guys back there that can take it the distance. And uh, uh, they did a good job of blocking on, on Saturday. And, uh, you know, we just want to build off it. And, you know, we want to let that be the, the, the foundation of our running game. And, uh, you know, and our guys understand that we can get that done. Defensively, held them under 200 total yards. I think just over 83 in the rushing game. Talk about their performance as a unit. Yeah, you know, our defense have been a staple here um, for a while. And um, I thought our defensive guys – uh, really took ownership in how we practiced last week and everybody running to the ball, you know, uh, after coming off a game where, you know, we've gotten turnovers in every game uh, the last couple of years. And uh, our game against Pine Bluff, we didn't get one. So we kind of went back 
to the drawing table and talked about, you know, we got turnovers because we were around the ball. I mean, the opportunities was there in other games where the ball was on the ground, where it was tipped, but we just didn't have people running to the ball. And we made sure uh, in practice last week that we, you know, we ran to the ball. Everybody ran to the ball and tagged off um, before we started the next play. And uh, it worked for us in this game. There were tilt balls, there were fumbles that we, uh, we were able to recover. Moving forward, looking at this Texas Southern team who comes in one and four, but have scored a lot of points in three of their five contests. Talk about what you see from them overall. Well, you know, you have a, um, a new coach this year, Coach Amsbury, and, um, you know, he, he's a, a swag guy, played at Jackson State. Uh, really has a, a great mind when you're talking about uh, offense, and uh, he's done a good job of calling plays there. He got weapons. You know, they've always had weapons at Texas Southern. And, um, you know, got a big, big offensive line, so that'll be a challenge for us. And, you know, we got to stop them. We got to stop them from scoring. There's no way um, we can allow them to score, you know, 30, 40 points. Um, you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's tough to overcome. So, uh, they're a good team. They're explosive on offense. Uh, defensively, they have had some changes, which uh, will be a little bit difficult for us. They changed defensive coordinators uh, during the course of the season. So now, you know, we have to prepare and uh, possibly make some, some changes on, on the go. So uh, that'll be a challenge for us. We look at this team on film. Obviously, you know, we talk a lot about the Mag City Classic and rivalry games. They opened the season with their rivalry game against Prairie View. Had a big comeback in that game. What does that tell you about their explosive firepower that you've seen on film? Well, for one, I know for us, you know, um, you know, uh, talk about a team that don't quit and, and, and was determined to come back like they did. So that means, you know, hey, regardless if we have an opportunity to be up at some point in the game, we know uh, that they have explosive players. That wide receiver, they have their uh, number one. He's, uh, he's really good. They're, they've played about three or four quarterbacks, some really athletic and could run. The other guys are just great passers. But, uh, you know, it just means that we have to, you know, make sure we stay on top of our keys and know uh, that at any moment, uh, you know, our fortune can change. They're a team that will throw the ball downfield uh, at least five times. They're just going to take it, and they're going to throw the goal route and see what happens, and our guys have to be ready for that. When you look at a, a team at Texas Southern, as you mentioned, in transition defensively, how does that kind of cat and mouse game play out when you have a new coach that have maybe has a different philosophy than the previous coordinator. Yeah, well, it's a it's a challenge because you know this isn't you know uh, the last guy was a, a four three type guy and this guy's a four three. The last guy was a bare front aggressive cover zero man coverage. Uh, you know that was his philosophy, and now um, the you know the head coach and uh, the the new defensive coordinator um, it's more or less you know you're four down. Uh, three backers in the box, playing quarters coverage, a little single high. So it's a totally different deal. And uh, like I said, there's going to be some uh, game time adjustments that we're going to have to make based on, you know, what we're seeing. And uh, it's only been uh, two games uh, since they've made the changes. So, uh, you know, this will be their third game uh, with those changes. So I imagine their defense, uh, uh, their guys will be a little bit more comfortable with the new stuff that they're doing. You talked earlier about maybe the all court game from an Alabama State standpoint being the model going forward. Talk about your comfort level going into the month of October sitting 3-1 and one in SWAC play. Yeah, you know, this is a huge month for us. We got two games here at home, um, starting with Texas Southern and then Jackson State, and then we get a break. So uh, the goal is to have an opportunity to, to win this one and, uh, you know, uh, get, get, get set for, you know, a full October, which we know it'll be a challenging month. But... Uh, every week there is uh, going to be big challenges. There's so much parity within the conference. Um, I, you know, every team has, you know, solid players, and the coaches are doing a great job of preparing them. So uh, this is going to be a huge month for us. Uh, we're excited about it, uh, but uh, our main focus now is going to be on Texas Southern and trying to get a good, solid game plan on all three phases that we can come out and execute and play with uh, a lot of speed and not a lot of thinking going on.